there's a massive population who do not get the benefits of the therapies that we provide and have invented over the years. Going to the emerging markets is uh, not only an important opportunity, it's our responsibility. Medtronic's mission is to extend life, alleviate pain and restore health using our technologies. And this applies to all people around the world. And in the pursuit of this mission, we find that one of the biggest opportunities available for us is in fact in emerging markets. Unfortunately, heart disease in India is a big opportunity. It is the number one killer for people under 70 in the country. And before too long, experts predict it will make up 60% of the global cases. Medtronic had been in that market for 30 years, yet the penetration of its core product, the pacemaker, was tiny. So there's two questions. Why is that and what can you do about it? Medtronic brought Innosight in to really help us uh, in a different way of thinking about our markets. Innosight had developed a methodology to, to effectively think through this in a systematic way. We had a team living in, in Durgapur full time, which is a town of a million people about three hours north of Calcutta. We interviewed over 100 people of all different types, including patients, cardiologists, primary care physicians. We actually did a survey early on in the process and we found out that only 30% of the people in the region knew what a pacemaker was. We identified three primary barriers that Medtronic would have to address if it was going to grow this market. The first is affordability. India is largely an out-of-pocket pay market. The second was awareness. Many people in India might be suffering from conditions that would warrant a pacemaker, but they didn't know it because there weren't reliable ways to diagnose. The third problem is care pathways in India. Moving from a general practitioner to a specialist to a surgeon, there's just not good continuity of care. Well, the answer we came up with really had three key components. First, you do direct-to-consumer marketing. You use billboards, you use leaflets, you run advertisements on the radio, you create a website. Second, you create new ways to diagnose patients, diagnostic camps and other mechanisms where two, 300 people in an afternoon could very quickly be diagnosed. Third, and perhaps most importantly, you come up with India's first financing program for an implantable medical device. In India was the first time we had tried the financing program. And the linkage between all those different elements is what creates the business model. The first patient to whom we gave a loan was a woman who had been fainting every uh, three days because her cardiac disease was so bad. And it, you know, had the potential to kill her within a year and she kind of knew it. And it wasn't until the loan program came along that she was actually able to afford it. She told us through a translator that she felt like the program had, had saved her life. It was a really special moment. The numbers are beginning to add up. We think we've got this thing refined where we can take uh, this process and move it from implanting center to implanting center. By the end of 2012, we'd already screened 20,000 patients. Some of them had medication. Some of them were simply told they were okay or there was some other problem with them. 2,000 of them actually got life-saving implants. So those are, are are significant numbers and we're scaling this up very rapidly. We want to you know, double that number in the next year and uh, basically keep doubling it uh, to the extent that this becomes the default business model for, for cardiology in India rather than other methods. I think we are now building sort of a core uh, capability or business model innovation. I think the opportunity presented by Healthy Heart for All is very exciting. Starting from a pilot in one area. We not only uh, have the potential to make this thing standard of care around the world, affecting literally billions of people now, but that process in itself should be fundamental to our growth in the future. <laughs>